Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Isak Paredes. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway. And our pitcher in this game, Drew Rasmussen. Yeah, I want to see how he handles left-handed hitters in this lineup today because coming in, Lefties are batting over 300 on the year against him, so he's going to have to Leading figure something out Miami. to get inside, the keep them from getting their arms Jazz extended, and then once junior. conscious of the inside pitch, be able to go with... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. On the warning track, and hauls it in. Okay, time now for the Marlins lineup. One guy they want to get turned around in the sixth spot, Josh Bell. Well, over his last 10 games, just four hits, Boog. It's a lot of nights with an 0-4 driving back to the house. I mean, that's a tough one to kind of sleep on and, you know, figure that things are going to turn around. But with that said, he's a big leaguer. That's what you have to do. You have to make mental adjustments as well as physical. So, you know, trust he's going to stay focused. He's going to start putting together some quality at-bats, and things will get back on track. Close, but called a ball. And now it's even one and one. On the ground, right side. Throws the first in time. Good slider inside right Got there. Batter fighting the to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Arias. Two outs. Space is empty. Luis Arias stands in. On the ground. And that one handled. And he beats oh, he it. He's safe. Definitely a tough play right there, and he had a little trouble on the transfer. Didn't seem to be able to get the grip and get rid of it, and that made all the difference. Isaac Paredes now. First oh, offering, and it just misses. Rasmussen, 28 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2018. Next offering in there for a strike. Got a count even at one. The rise off of first with two away. And a big swing and a miss. A lot of one times ball. you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Two outs. And yeah, another, another ball. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Nice. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One left for Miami. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Base. Back here at Tropicana Field. And on the hill, Sandy Alcantara. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. The next offering misses. Now 2-0. and oh. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Fires over oh. to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. This has been a good, productive lineup so far this year, currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know, this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean, this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and guys are swinging and missing, going for the fences. But if you can increase that contact rate, you can be a dangerous club. You get more guys on base, and then all of a sudden, when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact, let the defense work behind it. Thank you. 
Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Bethancourt down to first with it. Gets the out. Two down after the strikeout. Well, that obviously that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate. And people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Yandy Diaz now. Two outs, base is empty. On the ground to the left. That yeah. ends the inning. Nothing doing for Tampa. Scoreless after one. And we're back. And now the DH, Jake Berger. Rasmussen back to work. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Josh Bell. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Barely hitting over the Mendoza line this month. The pitch. Quickly in an 0 2 hole. You're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Runner at first with no outs here. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Now the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. That one clips the outside corner. That's strike one. Ball one there. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. In for a strike. One and two. And another ball. Two ball, two strike. Two two now. Got him looking. And two away now. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So. They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And strike two. Well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. He was all over that one. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes yeah. me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into all the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Second inning here, no score. Up the middle, boots it. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. He's 0 for 1. And the first offering is not close. Berger, the runner at third. Dela Cruz over at second. Bethancourt on at first with two down. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Got him! Huge strike out there. And the Marlins leave all three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now in and Tampa Bay, and now it's way. Brandon Lau. The designated hitter. Brandon. A wind in the pitch. Now Contra, a former Cy Young Award winner, he features a sinker, a changeup, a four seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Next offering misses. Now one and two. Oh, 
Would have chased that time. Swing and a pop-up. Moving under this one. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. That Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Now up for Tampa Bay, Ryan Noda. One for four in Sunday's game. That's in there. It's 0 1. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Back to the mound. He's got it. Throws the first in time. Two up, two down. Batting four. No left fielder. Johnny. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Johnny DeLuca. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock oh, in this one. one. And that's down it away. That Ball misses two. the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Two he's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Two down, nobody on. Out to short. Rays oh. retired in order. Nothing doing for Tampa. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started, and the batter will be the shortstop, Nick Gordon. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That's oh, a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. Fly ball down the line. DeLuca on the move towards the line. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Got him. Now one away. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third. And that now pitch that's finished. That's right down the middle, Please. just a little bit in, and he oh, couldn't wow. pull the trigger. The rise stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Siri makes the grab. Two down. Next to hit, Up Isak to Paredes. The third baseman. Isak Paredes. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that extends the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Into center and a base hit. Now he launches a throw over his head. Josh Bell at the plate now. Went down on strikes his first time through. And there's a ball. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Just off the outside part of the plate. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. here at Tropicana Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Jose Siri. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. In the air, right field. Pulls it in for the out. Batting eight, the catcher. 
And stepping in for the Rays, Rene Pinto. He's been on fire at the dish lately, hitting better than 350 this month. Right through there for a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Good late movement on that sinker right there. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over the top. One out, base is empty. This with a changeup, and the count one is ball, one and two. two. Yeah. Rips that one center field, and there's two away. So up next, Batting Curtis Mead. Mead. The second baseman, Curtis Mead. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. There's a strike. No ball. Two strikes. Ripped on a line to center. And that is that. Down in order go the Rays. Still no score. Jesus Sanchez getting ready to hit. The pitch. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Sanchez goes six feet, three inches, 220 pounds, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Just off the inside corner. Two and two. Right-hander kicks deals. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, he's been working out of the stretch just about the entire game, Boo. A lot of base runners on against him, and he's just done a really nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. De La Cruz in the box now. Take strike one. All one's the count. On the ground, could be two. Noda to second. How about that double play? For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And here is Christian Bethencourt. That one fouled off. The 0-1. And there's a foul ball. All tied up, top half of inning number four. And ball that's one. downstairs and outside. One ball. Really good slider. Two He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Onto the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Bottom of the inning. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Josh Lowe. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Hammered on a line at a left base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Taylor Walls. 0 for 1 so far. Fastball for a strike. Going 1. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. 
On the ground to first. Could be two to second. There's one. Back to first double play. 3-6-3, three, three, nicely done. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And now it's going to be Yandy Diaz. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're headed to the fifth. No score. And we're back. We go to the top of the fifth. And yeah, the batter now, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. He's got it. And there's one down. Now batting. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. Popped up. Walls under it. Brings it in. Two away down. The batter number three. Luis Arias, the next up for the Luis Marlins. Arias. And a foul ball. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. In the dirt. Right. And one and one. Rip to short. Walls throws to first. And that is the third out of the inning. And the Marlins down quietly. And we're still knotted at. Back now in Tampa Bay. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Brandon Lau. There's a strike. Well, these Rays just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. The pitch. On the ground, right side, a rise. One up, one down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll oh, over. Tampa Bay. The first baseman. Ryan Noda oh, yeah. will hit next. Noda. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. Out there to center. Chisholm gets under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Now batting. Left fielder. Now up for Tampa Bay. Johnny DeLuca. There's a strike. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Down the line. De La Cruz. Long run. Won't get to this one. It drops foul. Here's the 0-2. On the line. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Now batting. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Siri in the box now. No balls and a strike. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Swing and a ball popped up. Drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. One left for Tampa, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Here comes a pitch. And that's through there for a strike. Hard ground ball, base knock. Oh. 
Well, he's been working out of the stretch just about the entire game, Boo. A lot of base runners on against him, and he's just done a really the nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. His home and away splits there. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. And here it comes. Ground ball could be two. Quick feed to second for one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. He's so good at coming across the bag and snagging it with the bare hand to throw. I like the flair that he brings day in and day out. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. There's a strike. Looking for the K. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. And we still have no score. Rene Pinto digs in now. Pinto having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. That one missed. Out to short. Gordon slings it across, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. Now batting the second baseman, Herdez. And now here is Curtis Mead. I just love watching Alcantara get ready for games, boo. He turns into a different person, just usually cracking jokes and having a good time. But start days are a different story. That's when things get serious for this guy. Chisholm makes the play and a couple of quick outs. Now batting, right fielder. Back to the top of the lineup. So next to the play for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe, one for two. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Right through there for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. The wide to kick the pitch. And right back to the mound. Tosses to first. What a play. Inning over. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Trevor Rogers. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Jesus Sanchez now at the plate. Fastball for a strike, Roger. 26 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. And now the lefty struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. De La Cruz, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Bounce to the right side, and that's just foul. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. That one drifts inside. 
Really good take, especially with two strikes. And downstairs. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Struck him out looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Beth and Gordon in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. And that's off the inside edge, and it's one and one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. All tied up here in game one of two in the series. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Bottom of the seventh and stepping in for the Rays. Taylor Walls. Alcantara back to work. Fall off foul. Hater deals. Hit in the air, center field. Arise has it sized up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Oh, that's a tough play for the now infielder back. ranging back the into the outfield. Man. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Yeah. Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Diaz in the box again, takes a strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Now he breaks his bat. He handles it himself. And a couple of quick outs. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Blanton. Lau at the plate. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And nope. that one's a oh. little bit low. And that's ball one. Up the middle. Gets it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. here at Tropicana Field and now Jazz Chisholm Jr. Rogers back to work. Fastball for a strike. And now it's even up. Left hand batter waits. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off oh, the plate. Off the plate. That one way inside. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And now the count filled up three and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. So digging in, Nick Gordon. The football. Nick Gordon. And that one a little below the knees. And that is ball one. Just missed. Next pitch is outside. Luis arrives. Up next. And there's the automatic. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Out to center. Siri in position. Makes the grab, and there are two outs. Up next for the Marlins. The now it's baseman. the second baseman, Luis, Luis Arias. Arias. One for three. And 
Nice swing and a miss. In the on deck circle. Oh, and one. You really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. And makes the grab. And that is that. And we're back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Noda. And the right hander back to work. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. Action in the pen down there. JT Shagwa up and throwing. Smith also getting ready. Righty to the plate. That one pulled foul. And one, one and two. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. The one-two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. On to first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Hex and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Siri stands in now and watches strike one. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Back up the middle and it gets through. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now the catcher for the Rays, Rene Pinto. On the ground to third, Paredes. Tosses across the first. And that is the inning. The Rays strand just the one. It's the ninth, and we are tied. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jason Adam. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. And he deals. Paredes at the plate now, and that's inside. Next offering in there for a strike. And yeah, the count even one and one. Righty delivers. Strike three. Got him swinging. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms. It gets stability from all of their performances. That's towards center. Squeezes it. Two down. And now the first baseman, Josh Bell. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Swings one, through that down. one for strike one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think oh. negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Oh. 
Off the mark there. Two and two. To third, Diaz. Sends it across the first. And that is that. Three up, three down that time. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we still have no... Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. JT Shagwa. Going to be a tough matchup for him right here. Right-handed hitters have been having a lot of success against him so far this season. Now up for Tampa Bay, and Curtis Mead. The, the second baseman, Curtis. And a pitch. Hey. That's in for a strike. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Tanner Scott, the left-hander, up and throwing. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and fires. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Now that here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Josh Lowe. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Drops into the glove, and there's two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nope, nice no, 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 ride up in the zone right nope, there. No. Hitter looked no. like he was on it, but I think that velocity no. at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Walls in the box now. No balls and a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That one ripped. Back there. That one hops against the fence. It's a two-out double, and the winning run is at second base. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch A-B could end this one. Now here is Yandy Diaz. Bounce to third. Whips it across. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Back now in Tampa Bay, here's the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Chopped in the ground. Walls whips it to first on the run. And they get the leadoff man in the tenth. Amazing range right there by the shortstop. He ends up on the other side of second base and then's able to complete the throw to first. That is tremendous range and clearly a great example of why he plays the shortstop position. Substitution now at third. Marlins bring on a pinch runner, Jonathan Davis. And up next for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. And fouled off. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Nope. Okay. Next pitch is outside. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. And now two and one. Runner on at third, one gone. Bounce to the right, me. Play at the plate, safe, and they take the lead. One down, runner at first. And now Christian Bethencourt. And that clips the inside corner. Adam in his fifth season. He's in 32 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. 
One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of the 10. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Two outs. Foul ball still 0-2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The 0-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. Last chance, the, the Marlins won, the Rays nothing. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, now, Tanner Scott. Nine. Save opportunity Number for him right six. here, and he's Tanner. their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. This so coming into the game now on defense, now Tristan Gray. Game. He takes over Number as the new first nine. baseman. Well, one run game. Now here's the Tampa. For a cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. The pitch. Yeah, there's the strike. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. And now the count is even. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Swings and misses. One ball. Now one and two. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Throw to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump. One that lasts for several games, even a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one. So I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track. Back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Noda in the box now. Take strike one. With the tying run at second, winning run at the plate. And here in extra ball innings. One. And ball one. So the tying run at second. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone, and for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss. This to third. Now a jump throw. Low throw, and he can't take it out. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps him alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. And now the center fielder, Jose Siri, trying to deliver as the hero. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their key. One and one. Two outs, tying and winning runs on base as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Scott is just one strike away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling it's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps push it up to double digits. Here now is the final line.